Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to study the next topic of my previous video which is International System of Numeration. To better understand today's topic, I would suggest you do watch my previous video and for that I have mentioned the link of my previous video which is number system part 1 in my description box. So do check from there. Okay, so today we are topics which we are going to cover are how to represent a number in Indian number, international number system and then how to write number in international number system and the last is reading of a number according to international number system. So let's get started. First, we will study how to represent a number in international number system. So for that, we would make a place value chart according to international number system. So here, as you can see, I have already made a place value chart here where we can see three columns, three major columns in which written millions, thousands, ones. So these are actually the groups and these groups are called periods and this is how we are going to divide our number according to the periods and inside those groups are the places, the places at which we are going to place the digit of any number. So in ones we have places hundred tens ones, in thousand we have places hundred thousand, ten thousand, n thousand, in millions we have places hundred millions, ten millions and millions. So please mark that while placing any digit in place value chart always start from the right. If you have any number so you are advised to always start from the right that is from the extreme right group which is ones and in that comes the place value ones then tens then hundred and then moving to the next group which is thousand in which first comes thousand then ten thousand and then hundred thousand and then to the left comes millions in which the first place value is million 10 million and 100 million so this is how we are going to divide a number according to their place value in the different periods and here one more thing to mark is that like in the Indian number system we group the numbers according to the period as well but it always start with the group of three digit and then group of two digit and then group of two digit but here you can see every group or every period has three place values so here the division is equal okay children so let's move on to our next topic of discussion which is how to write number in international number system so as you have familiar about how to represent the number which is the only way to represent them is according to their periods so here also to write number we are going to use the periods only as it says number in international number system they are written based on the different periods which are ones, thousand and millions and for showing those different periods we are going to separate the digits by placing comma after every three digit always starting from the right corner as I am emphasizing on this again and again because children do make mistakes they'll start from the left and they end up doing any blunder so I'm again and again repeating this thing that while placing comma or while separating the period you always start placing comma always from the right corner period so to understand it well let's take an example the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For that, I have already made a place value chart and the number have already been placed. So, let me explain you how you can place. Again, always start from the right corner period, which is once, and in those once comes the three places, and in that two, you will start from the right place value, which is one. So, at one comes nine. 10 comes 8 at 100 place 7 at 1000 place 6 
at town 10,000 place 5 and so on till millions so at last I have already shown here how you can place commas so you can see I have placed comma after every three digits always start from the right corner okay so the last topic of today's lecture is how to read a number according to international number system so again here are we going to use the same term which is period for reading the number we are going to use period only as this is the only way we can read the number easily because if there is any large value we can subdivide it into periods and that's how we can easily read the number so that's why periods are the only one which are going to use to read the number so to understand it well let's take an example so I have taken here the number and now you can see I've already placed the comma between the number digits uh, after every three digit from the extreme right corner so again I would suggest first make a place value chart it will make much easier so I've already placed the digit according to their place value always start from the right corner and now how you can read them for reading the number you'll always start from the left corner period which is million and in million we have three place value so always start from the left corner place value which is hundred million so how do we read it one two three is the value which is coming in million period so as we already have read it is 123 so simply you have to write 123 and after that you have to write the period name which is millions then moving to the right the period comes thousand and in this thousand period comes the value 412 so as we read 412 as 412 we simply write 412 and after that we read the period which is thousand and then the extreme right corner period which is once and the value here is 354 so as usually we read as 354 we are not going to use once period here we only use till thousand so how do we read the number which is given here as 123 millions 412,354 so guys this was for today's video I hope you understand well and at last I would say please share like and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and feel free to give your feedback in the comment section I would love to hear from you how it goes for you till then take care bye bye